My name's Elizabeth Blasteller, but 127 Lion Avenue. And I'm going to apologize. I'm going to read my um, notes verbatim because I don't want to miss anything. Um, I am a voting resident for the city. I'm sorry to say that I am a usually uneducated voter. I mostly go along with my friends and family who tell me who to vote for. Sometimes I've even voted for a candidate for Loveland City Council just because I recognized their name and knew that they were already on our city council. This didn't seem too bad. Things haven't been that bad until recently. But apparently this way of voting isn't such a good idea. So I checked the city's website for information on who our council members are. It listed Mayor Mark Fitzgerald, Vice Mayor Angie Sattel, Vice Pam Gross, Ted Phelps, Robert Weisgerber, and Stephen Zamakis. But nowhere on the website did I see a statement that our mayor only represents our city Monday through Friday, 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 a.m. It is my understanding that the mayor of Loveland represents our city 24-7, 365 days a year. And like me, that is what anyone else who does their own investigating on who they intend to vote for during an election will find. With any investigation, additional internet searches can reveal that our current mayor has been asked to resign from two separate city manager jobs, has sent a letter in his official capacity as mayor to individual rep residents that was viewed as bullying, as a PAC group with a petition to recall his position at the next election, and at the last council meeting, publicly admitted that our city officials had made a habit out of illegally hiring people, and the most recent one being Mr. Rob Stansel, who was hired in 2015. Apparently, Mr. Stansel was paid $15,000 more than what was allowed. It is my understanding that at some point during this Loveland City Council meeting, it is the intention of city council members to vote on allowing the city manager to offer Mr. Stansel a contract with the ability to compensate him with an unlimited amount beyond the allotted $15,000. This seems like a definite case of it's better to ask for forgiveness than to ask for permission. Is it even ethical to hire Mr. Stansel, who happens to be the client of a council member who sits on the CIC and the Zoning and Planning Board, all while trying to push through the City Hall project? Which, by the way, I understand that there was once a public meeting previously held to discuss the City Hall project, where six people were in attendance. And I know about this meeting, I would have been there. You may, have not, you may have thought that this wasn't such a big deal before, but apparently, with the increasing attendance at city meetings and the voices of displeased residents, it is now. Slowing down the project to hold additional roundtable meetings would have been a wise decision. It is also my understanding that Mayor Mark Fitzgerald receives compensation for representing our city as mayor. Well, Mr. Mayor, if you were to receive a performance review from your bosses, the residents of this city, you would receive a less than satisfactory rating and would be asked to resign, especially with remarks on social media, like, quotes, I was born and raised in Loveland, and I'm glad I don't live there anymore. That city is a joke. And I avoid going to Loveland because the traffic is horrible. Mr. Mayor, you are accountable to me as a resident of the city, and I do not give you permission to bulldoze City Hall to replace it with a structure that will make traffic and parking even worse or to give a contract to Mr. Stansel. So I guess maybe you ought to send me a letter too. Thank you very much. The next person is...